buying the rest of your company, the 20% for $2 billion, what prompted that move? Uh, we started the process seven years ago. Uh, I wanted to look for a solution which will be good for the customers long, long term. I want to find a solution for the people at ISCA, especially Jacob Arpad, an amazing group to do an amazing job, to be able to do what, what we do or what we did uh, for many more years, and uh, for the family because uh, it's time to, it's like a relay race, like uh, you have to pass a baton at a certain time to make sure it goes. And the main issue was to find amazing family for amazing company. Mm -hmm. And I think I managed to find an amazing family like the Berkshire Hathaway right. and Warren and Charlie in the head. So your plan all along was to sell the entire company to, to Warren Buffett? It was uh, in, the, in the cars from day one. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Warren had uh, enough time to see that it's an amazing company, he loves it, and we love being with Warren, and the people also saw that being with Warren, part of Berkshire Hathaway is only good. Well, was, there, was there anything, <laughs> excuse me, in particular that triggered that move for this year? No, no, just everybody was happy. I'm, anyhow, my father already 40 years in philanthropy, I'm only 20, 25 years into it. And uh, my dream, uh, today I'm 80% of my time in philanthropy, but entrepreneurial philanthropy. We try to invent and do things, yes. new things, not just do the old things, recycle them, but do new things. So what does that mean for your role then? I mean, I know you stepped back long ago from day-to-day -day operations, but then what's your role then going to be at ISCAR? At ISCAR, I'm going to be the best friends of everybody. everybody. I'm, uh, I want to be in philanthropy, and I want to be 200% of my time in philanthropy. Okay. And, uh, Have you also, by the way, taken the Buffett pledge? No, I'm doing it a different way. I'm uh, testing things. And, uh, what does that mean? I'm trying to reinvent uh, philanthropy and try new experiments. Think some will work, some will not work, some did, some didn't. And uh, anyhow, philanthropy deals with the not unsolved issues. Right. And uh, I'm trying to, uh, to uh, go on the line how to build philanthropies that will be independent after so and so many years. Oh, I see. And how, okay. I want to be part of. So uh, not just donating money, but making no, sure. No, 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 no. I want to make build systems that sooner or later will be fully independent. To build dependencies, it's not the right game. So, uh, uh, Eitan, I mean, I know you have famously brought Warren Buffett overseas. You know, you were there with him in his trip throughout Europe, looking at investments. You were there with him in Asia, for instance, as well. Uh, are you planning, by the way, any further trips for Warren overseas? Listen, I'm, uh, for the last year I was pretty lousy as his travel agent <laughs> but, uh, because he prefers to sleep in uh, Omaha, as you know. Uh, we'll do more things. You we will. are planning to do on the philanthropy side. Okay. And, uh, for me it's a great Overseas? honor. We don't know. Okay. And uh, I tend to forget things at a certain time of the day and that's right now. Uh, no, I'm looking forward because uh, I adore Warren. I learned from him the big lesson of balancing between your head, your heart, and your pocket, and not just taking one. And, would you uh, like him? Would you like to see him do more overseas, though, because you are based out there? I I think that the second Berkshire will find the right investment. He'll he'll make it. They'll make it. Are you fielding phone calls from people who say, hey? You know, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't exactly go like that, but you know, hello, I've got a, a company that that might be interesting for, for for Warren Buffett. Will he take a look at it? Are you fielding many calls like that? Uh, there are some calls like this, but I normally tell them, listen, this if you're not qualified, and second, uh, I'll give you the telephone number of Warren, and uh, but first qualify. Don't come to the game if you're not right for that story, because Warren had a very clear list what he likes to have, what he doesn't like to have, what size, and other things. And uh, I think that uh, sooner or later there's going to be more investment outside, okay. of, outside of the USA.